Yo, what's up everybody? In this video, I am going to show you how to add enrages or whatever to a berserker. And sadly, it only works for berserkers, but I'll show you how I do it. There might be other ways to do it, but I'll show you the way I do it. Um, as you probably would have known, um, a few weeks or months ago, I made a video about how to do this, but it wasn't in commentary, so it was likely still confusing for some people. Okay, so what you want to do is get a Berserker first. Um, this is not a good one by any means, but I'm just going to use him as an example. Um, if you watched my live stream, you would have known I found this orc, and I, I, thought, he wa I thought he was a maniac, but turns out he wasn't. So let me just uh, capture this guy. But oh my goodness, that live stream. Um, <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with me, but I kept dying in online sieges. You know, Gorgoroth just seems to be bad luck for me now. <clears throat> like, we clear out the orcs easily, but I keep dying in the Overlord fight. Okay, so... By the way, doing this is going to take a lot of myriad of the coins, so make sure you have a bunch once you find an orc you want to use this on. Oh my god, someone conquered my fort again. Stop it. It's not very nice. Get up, you idiot. Okay, so now once you find your berserker, obviously just uh, capture him. And not kill him. You know, I probably should have had him branded before I made the video, but <laughs> right, let's get him now. Imagine he gains some some immunities from this. That would be funny. No. Oh, we lost flammable at least. I mean, he wouldn't be the best. Like, maybe I could use him as a defend. No, not a defender. Uh, assault captain, but. I don't think he'd last very long. Anyways, I'm I'm not gonna bother to train this guy. It just would just be a waste of time. Okay, so once you have your berserker branded and ready to go, you um you want to look for a certain epic trait. It's this one, the one that costs four thousand. Uh, the champion epic trait right here. It's right next to the legendary, so... And to uh, find out where everything is, just... You know, select or command the orc with triangle, whatever device you're on, and then go into training orders, and... It will be right here. So just give him epic rage. And... You should see, yes, a fifth in rage, which is bloodlust. And now you're like, oh, well... Is this, uh... The most viable thing, well, in a way it is, because what you can do is give him a different epic trait and give him epic rage again. <laughs> and then once you give him epic rage again, now he has six enrages. <laughs> Enraged by burning. And then what you can do is do it again. <laughs> over and over. However, after a while, it's gonna stop working. So... Yeah, and now he has seven. Enraged by Frost. Not bad, not bad. Now, um, I was talking to somebody on a Discord and... He said his Berserker is legendary and the reason that won't work... Is because... I'll show you in a minute. So once you have, you know, your Orc ready, you make him legendary. Only when he's ready. Oh, he got a uh, poison master. Nice. And see what you can. You know, I'm just going to do this as an example because um, 
So say, look, it's letting you change Epic Rage, but like if you say, say you got like a warder or something, you know, poison or fire warder, and, and it doesn't let you change it, like it's not letting me change poison master, but what you can do is give him Epic Rage again. Let's see if this works. And now, if you do it enough times, it might even work after one, but eventually it should let you change the warder. It didn't let you, it doesn't let you change before. Nope, not yet. Wait, no, never mind, it did. Yes, it did. So, um, if this trait was a warder, it would let you change it now. But since it's Poison Master, it's gonna let me change it now. Um, which means, once you change this trait, um, yeah, and then once you have these two epic traits, like, it's not gonna let you get epic rage again, so you can't get any more enrages, so you want to do this when he isn't legendary to not risk the chance of him uh, not letting you change epic rage anymore, so you want to make sure he's not a legendary when you do this, or else... It won't be the best you want it to be. So, just to recap, um, find a berserker that's ep like common or epic doesn't matter. Uh, keep giving him this champion epic trait. Swap with another trait. Keep giving him the champion trait again. Once he's ready, then you make him legendary. And if he gets a fire warder, keep giving him the champion epic trait again. Like back and forth between different enrages, and eventually. No, back and forth between different epic traits, eventually you will be able to change the warder. Oh, hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, just keep going back and forth between champion epic trait and other epic traits. Eventually you will be able to change the epic trait you wouldn't be able to change before. Yikes. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much how you add enrages to berserkers. And also change the other epic trait. So look, now I can't change epic rage because I had to change the ep the other epic trait now. Ooh, that was crazy. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed how to get enrages on berserkers. <laughs> Holy crap, that's the good one. Um. I'll make another video maybe trying to train this guy because he could be really really good and he looks cool but yeah that's uh, pretty much how you add enrages to berserkers I hope you guys uh, enjoyed and hopefully you do this for yourself oh, I mean you should because it's up epic so yeah just Give them epic rage, swap with another epic trait, give him epic rage again, and you can just keep adding enrages back and forth. And then you make him legendary. <coughs> if he gets a trait you want, good for you. If he uh, doesn't, just keep giving him epic rage again, and you'll be able to change it eventually. Alright, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Uh, have a good day or night, depending on where you are. Bye.